Hello everyone, Michael here, and today I'm going to show you how to enable VLC to play Blu-ray movies in Windows. That was come to my attention that apparently I had some Windows users who've seen my last tutorial and try to do it in Windows. Unfortunately, they ran into some problems, and after investigating, I found out some information that especially 64-bit users really need to know. So, because of this, I'm going to be doing 32-bit VLC and the experimental 64-bit VLC. This will all make sense in a sec. But, first of all, if it hasn't been obvious already, I'm in fact using a Windows 7 64-bit operating system in a virtual machine in Ubuntu. So, the first thing is, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and install or upgrade VLC. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the 32-bit version. Okay. Next. And the 32-bit version of VLC is installed. Now, I do want to point out that if you did download here, you get the 32-bit version especially for 64-bit users as well. Now, this is where things get interesting, and this will come up in a minute. But for now, we are going to go ahead and download the key database. So go ahead and download that, which I already have. And according to this, we're supposed to put it into app data and put it into the AACS folder. The quickest way to do that, if you don't have show hidden folders enabled, go ahead to the start menu, type in run, and do percentage app data, all one word, capitalized, and another percentage, and it will open up the app data roaming in your user folder. So let's go ahead, go to downloads, and just like Linux, we have to put in the folder ourselves. So, new folder, name it AACS, and copy and paste the keydb.cfg. Now, of course, this next part is actually very interesting. The next part is the AACS Dynamic Library. Now, this is what the site doesn't tell you. Alright, so when downloading the file, remember this. If you have the 32-bit VLC, then get the 32-bit file. If you have the experimental 64-bit VLC, then get the 64-bit file. Now, if you want to know if you have the 32-bit version of VLC, 32-bit users, it will just be in your program files. 64-bit users, though, it will be in your program files x86. So, go ahead and download the 32-bit file, which is a DIL. Now, i already done that, so we can go ahead, 32-bit, and, oh, and another thing. If you download the 64-bit, it's actually the same thing. It will not tell you that it's a 64-bit or anything, so be careful when downloading it. Make sure it is the 32-bit. Computer, local disk, program files, 32-bit. 32-bit users, it should be just program files. For 64-bit users, it's program files x86. Video LAN, VLC, and just go ahead, copy, paste, or drag to the VLC folder. And after that, what you do is you go open up VLC, open up a disk, Blu-ray, Browse and go to the device or folder where the Blu-ray movie is currently stored. And hit play. So, if you give me a minute, I'll go ahead and reset everything so I can show you how to install the 64-bit version of VLC and what to do for that. Okay, and we're back. Everything has been reset. So this is for 64-bit users. Now, to get the 64-bit version of VLC, 
what you do is go to the main VLC site and right under the big fat download VLC button go to other systems and versions open up windows scroll all the way down till you see download VLC for Windows 64 and then download the VLC 2.02 Win64 executable, which I already done. And of course, download the key database file while the 64 bit version is installing. And again, make sure that you got the right file for the LIB AACS because it will not tell you if it's 64 or 32. Alright, and the 64-bit version of VLC is installed. And let's go ahead and do it exactly in the 32-bit version, which is installing the key database file, doing the same command, run, percentage app data, all one word, and capitalized, another percentage, and hit OK. And of course, add the AACS file. Open up the downloads folder, copy, paste, or move the key database file. Now, for 64 bit users, this is pretty much very simple now that you don't have to go to the 86 file. Where you have to go now is actually just plain program files. So, see, program files, video LAN, VLC. Copy, paste, or drag the LIBAACS file. Continue. And there you go. For 64 bit users, you're now enabled to play Blu ray movies on the 64 bit version of VLC. Now, if you run into some problems or like you get an error or something, my suggestion is go ahead, uninstall everything, get rid of the key database file, get rid of the LIB AACS file, and uninstall VLC and install everything back in. And then play it. If you're still having problems, please let me know in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.